This video explains how to preserve the width and position of a single box plot using the ggplot2 package in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So after running these lines of code a new data set is appearing at the top right which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, the first column in our data frame is the main group indicator. The second column is the subgroup indicator. And the third column contains random numeric values. Now, in this tutorial, I will draw our data based on the ggplot2 package. And for that reason, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can create a ggplot2 box plot, as you can see in lines 11 to 15. So after running these lines of code, a new box plot graphic is appearing at the bottom right of our studio. And as you can see, we have drawn a grouped box plot. However, you can also see that the first main group does only contain the subgroup lowercase a. However, no cases of the subgroup lowercase b are contained in the first main group uppercase a. And for that reason, this first box plot is relatively large. So the width of this box plot is twice the size of the other boxes. So if we want to change the width and position of this single box, then we can use the code that you can see in lines 17 to 21. So in lines 17 to 20 of the code, I'm using exactly the same syntax as in lines 11 to 14. And then in line 21, I'm using the position argument within the geoboxplot function. And I'm setting this argument to be equal to the position dodge function. And within the position dodge function, I'm using the preserve argument and I'm setting this argument to be equal to single. So if you run lines 17 to 21 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is changed. And this time the width of the first box is shown in the same width as the other boxes. However, you can also see that the position of this box is still in the middle and not on the left side of the main group as in the other main groups. So if we also want to move the box in the first main group to the left side, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 23 to 27. So once again, the first lines of this code are the same as in the previous examples. However, this time I'm using the position dodge function instead of the position dodge to function. So if you run lines 23 to 27 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And this time the box in the first main group has been moved to the left side. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.